we were talking about how, you know, way back when the stuff that people would sell, it's a miracle we're all still alive. But, you know, if you look at uh, the mid to late 1800s, there was, you know, you, you've heard the term snake oil sales, but that's what it was. I mean, there was these salespeople that would literally, um, snake oil at the time was seen as a cure-all for everything. But what would happen was the snake oil salespeople would also, uh, the, whoever would put, like the chemists would put either cocaine or alcohol or morphine or opioids. Remember in Beverly place. Hillbillies? Oh yeah. Granny. I picture granny making, you know, this mix of all of that stuff. Well, yeah, it's uh, I mean, if you, well, a little side note, what happened is they would put this stuff together and then they would sell it at a huge markup. And there were literally chemists, which is what they called pharmacists back then. That yeah. would be like, gosh, the, the active medicine is only this little piece and it doesn't cost anything. And so the chemist would put this stuff together and start selling it. But then the snake oil salespeople would go, that the term accept no substitutes, that's where that came from because they yeah. would be like, oh, the chemists, they don't know what they're talking about. Try this. But the, the story <laughs> we were talking about yeah. was uh, they would have these shows, these snake oil shows, and um, they were like the circus where they would have themes like a cowboy theme or something like that. And then the medicine man, who is the salesperson, and by medicine man, like he has no qualifications, um, but like he would get up and talk about the medicine and always they'd have a, like a, a I don't remember the word, but like they'd have a, a person in the audience that's in on it. And that person would get up and like, it was this dude, like he would be dragging his limp dead leg out and the, the medicine man would be like, hey, where, where are you going? Like, where, where are you going? And he's just like, oh, this is all BS. Like, all right, this is crap. I can't believe I'm even listening to this. And the medicine man would say, well, listen, one of these here, this, this one, just take a teaspoonful and it'll cure your leg issue. And the guy's like, oh, that's crap. No, just try it. Just one teaspoon. And sure enough, the guy would try it. And the next thing you'd know, he'd be dancing <laughs> and like the leg would be like, this is a miracle. And then like everybody would come running down to buy the medicine. And that's, that was snake oil, but it was, it was amazing that- oh.